life. That was not easy in cycling. Here follows a valuable lesson. Even if you're sure you're capable of whatever challenge you set for yourself, it's probably best if it's planned in advance of the event. The mission this time, to ride around Tenerife in a day. 205 kilometres, 3,990 metres of ascent and descent. Or so we thought. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go. Hopefully, a good day out. Out of the town. First thing on the memory. Oh, the sun's just rising. Oh, some steep hills here. Well, we've got out of holiday hell, uh, and we're just heading into the heading into the hills. Whew. I should explain that we had decided to ride this route at the last minute, unplanned and hastily downloaded the evening before. In fact, we had thought the route was sending us into the mountains, rather than the coastal route shown on bike map. Some of the footage here was filmed on separate rides, hence the different clothing. We didn't have much time for filming. To prove we're not cheating, I'll include our Strava stats. Continue on to Set breakfast too. Oh, well, here we go. Climbing in the morning. Beautiful sea for it over that island, which we'll tell you what it's called later. Panting a tad. That was quite a sharp pull up there, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we've still got about another eight miles uphill yet. This is lava field and there's TD. So snow on this north side. We're cycling through. Lava. So here was the first big mistake. We think that the app Dave was using to navigate had been created by somebody on a mountain bike who kept deviating to places we couldn't ride on a road bike. 
I use Ride with GPS, which is fine, but surprisingly I couldn't find a route around Tenerife at the last minute on there. So we followed the mountain biker up and then down a scarily steep hill, which ended up on a gravel track. To correct it, of course, we then had to ride back up that hill, which wasn't funny with clips on. And there's Porta de la Cruz. But our navigation troubles were not yet over. In the region of La Matanza, we again took a wrong turn right and managed to grind our way up an unbelievably steep road. I'd noticed from our wahoo that it was tiny. Both of us almost bursting our lungs, we finally got to the top of the rise, only to see another wall ahead of us. For the first time in my cycling life, I had to admit defeat, especially on a heavy bike. Back down the road we went, almost nose diving, and a local driver advised us to head for the main coastal road. He said he didn't think it was possible to ride up the road we had headed for on a bicycle. So on we rode, easily this time, before stopping at a cafe, not far from Santa Catalina. By now we had been riding for around seven hours, and it was obvious we wouldn't make it back in daylight. And without warm clothing, we didn't fancy it. So we grabbed some cake and wandered into the first place we could find, where we'd be able to arrange a taxi. I'm happy to report that the driver was friendly, honest, helpful and sympathetic. He dropped us off 15 miles from Las Americas and we happily completed our ride in the warm sunshine. <laughs> well, I thought I was cycling. <laughs> well, as I say, best days tomorrow. But the ride isn't over. Here follows the last 15 miles, together with some of the route which we subsequently rode from Las Americas to Arillo Viejo. But before we go there, here's the Strava stats. Having only ridden roughly halfway around the island, our total distance and ascent was way more than half of what we expected. The lesson to take from this, plan your route carefully and make sure you're happy with the mapping before you set off. On that rather excitable note, I'll leave you with the soothing scene of the windsurfers at El Medano. I hope you've enjoyed our fated but enjoyable attempt to get round the island in a wanna. I think if I was to complete this ride, I'd prefer to stay away from main coastal roads and head into the hills, though we now know that that would add significantly to the difficulty. And Matt, if you watch this, I did think about you bivvying in those beautiful areas in the mountains up north. If anyone hasn't already seen it, I've left a link to Matt's channel below and you can explore mountainous northern Tenerife with him. Until next time, adios.